hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to see how to fix the xbox app error we couldn't sign into our microsoft account let's fix it guys first solution you just need to go to search menu and type xbox right click on the xbox app and select app settings in here you just need to scroll down select the reset option and reset it After getting reset then close stuff here and check if the problem solved or not. If the problem not solved let's move on to the same solution guys. The same solution you just need to open up chrome and search for gaming services repair tool. Comes up xbox support site click on open it. You just need to scroll down and select downloadable version. You just need to scroll down and select download the gaming services repair tool for pc. After getting download done, you just need to click on it and run it. This will take a few minutes to complete it guys, so please wait. After getting completed successfully, you just need to close stuff here and check if the problem solved or not. If the problem not solved, let's move on to the third solution guys. The third solution you just need to go to search menu and type settings. Click on open it. On left side select accounts. On right side select sign in options. In here you just need to scroll down under additional settings. You can able to see the option use my sign in info to automatically finish setting up after an update. Click on this to toggle off. And after that you can check if the problem solved or not. If the problem not solved, let's move on to the fourth solution guys. Fourth solution, you just need to open up file explorer. Go to this PC. Local disk C. Users folder. In here, you just need to open the username folder guys. To find your username, you just need to click on the start icon. And here you can able to see your username. Now, you just need to open the username. And now you just need to select the view option on the top and select no so and you just need to check mark hidden items and you will be see this invisible app data folder double click on it local you just need to search for package packages folder in here you just need to search for Microsoft Xbox identify provider You just need to double click on it. AC folder, double click on it. Token broker, double click on it. In here, you just need to delete whatever inside it. Right click on it and delete it. After deleting it, now you can check if the problem solved or not. If the problem not solved, let's move on to the fifth solution, guys. Fifth solution, you just need to go to search menu and type a partial. Right click on the Windows PowerShell and select Run as Administrator and select Yes. Now you just need to check my video description for this command used in my video just to copy and paste it and press Enter. After finishing this command just to close stuff here and restart your PC. After restarting your PC you can check if the problem solved or not. The sixth solution is to log in with the same account on Microsoft Store and Xbox app. To do this, you just need to open up Microsoft Store and you just need to select the profile icon and select the sign out option and you just need to sign in the account you have Game Pass. You need to log in the account you have the Game Pass and select continue. Now you just need to type your password. After typing it, select sign in. After login your account, now you just need to open up Xbox. Go to search menu and type Xbox. Click on open the Xbox app. Now you just need to select the profile icon. And you just need to select the sign out option. Now select the sign in option. And select sign in. 
now you need to log in with the same account you logged in in Microsoft Store select it and select continue select let's go once you logged in Microsoft Store and Xbox with the same account you can check if the problem solved or not I hope one of these solution fixed your problem guys if the video helped you don't forget to leave a like guys you can also subscribe me and support me guys thank you